guys, Slash Life 43 here, and I'm here with another 70 Vix tutorial, and today we're going to be doing an effect called the screen shake or the handheld camera effect. And I just learned it like two days ago, so I might not be the best, but you see a lot of all the pro editors using it, so where the screen shakes and stuff, like this. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing it really quickly, so. It's not gonna look the best, but there's a lot of plugins that you can use and like After Effects and Premiere and all that, like Sapphire, but you can also do it manually in Pan and Crop, so I'm just gonna be teaching you guys how to do that. So I already have all my clips lined up. I have my black bars that you want, my song, and everything. So we're just gonna line up throughout here. So first thing, go here pan and crop and you're gonna look for these little big ticks instead of these little small ones and you're gonna make sure this is on smooth all of them have to be on smooth so you make a new one right here here uh, create a keyframe zoom it in zoom it in a bit so you can uh, do all that Just tilt it move it around so it doesn't go out of frame but also don't make too much of a drastic change or else it'll look stupid don't put it too close to each other or else it'll look really fast and stupid. So, let's tilt it. Not too much of a change. Or else it'll look dumb. And if your clip's a, lo a bit longer, it'll take longer, but uh, you can just control C all of these and repeat them. I don't have to do it all. And there so let's see how that looks i'm just doing it really quickly so it's not gonna look that well but it's all right i just realized i have this off whatever who cares and it's like a small effect but it's not too big like anything else but it really adds and what else uh another thing you can do to make it look better with the drop since you hear a big bass kick, you want to make the pan and crop bump as well with this, so... You can make the thing go really small. Tilt it a bit. Make it go here. Just like this. We can do it here too. This is kind of tropy. I said kind of tropy, I'm retarded. Control, copy, and paste. Go here, pan and crop. Make it smooth. Actually, just delete them. Just line this all up with the big ticks. You don't have to do it all manually, just control C, control V. And again, this is where the other bass kick happens, so we'll just make it smaller right here, like this. Yeah, so it goes along with the pan and crop and everything really well, and it's not like some big, too much of an effect that'll like distract you or anything. It just sways a bit in the back, and again, you don't want to make it too drastic, too big of a change or else it'll be really noticeable and dumb. So, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be making more in the future. Peace out.